It's the face that's fascinated historians for generations. Tutankhamun, the boy king who reigned over ancient Egypt before his untimely death at the age of 19. Since his body was discovered at this tomb in the late 19th century, historians have speculated over how he died, theories ranging from accidents to murder. Now though, after supervising a new study that involved CT scans and DNA testing, Egypt's larger-than-life antiquities chief says he has the answer. We were able to find out that King Tut had a severe malaria, and the severe malaria actually causes a, a high temperature, and it happened in ancient Egypt, malaria, and I really believe now we can finally uh, answer the question about the death of Tutankhamun. Weakened by the disease, it was, the study concluded, a fall that finally killed him. Researchers also examined ten other royal mummies and found that Tutankhamun's father was almost certainly the renowned king Akhenaten. Previous theories that Nefertiti was his mother were also ruled out. Those who carried out the study say it offers the strongest evidence to date on the boy king's origins. <laughs> When you look at what's published on the subject today, everyone has a different opinion because until now we've not found scientific proof. But we've used both CAT scans and DNA testing to provide final conclusions for the first time. Experts in the narrow field of Egyptology are still digesting the findings, but some have already hailed them as significant.